You can't miss the work of artist Simone Lee in New York this month. Her solo show just opened at one of the city's great museums. She's also the inaugural sculptor for a massive display space on the city's popular High Line Elevated Park. And those are just some of the accomplishments that have earned her growing recognition as an emerging force in the art world. For ceramicist Simone Lee, attention has been a long time coming. But at age 51, the Chicago-born artist is having her moment. These are two pieces you're working on for? The Guggenheim. New York's Guggenheim just opened an exhibit of her work, the reward for her winning the museum's highly prestigious Hugo Boss Prize. And the city's Whitney Museum just bought one of her sculptures for its collection. It's so shocking what's happening to me. Was there a particular moment when you sensed something was changing? Maybe it's when CBS News asked me to do an interview. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Lee's biggest project yet will open in June. How long have you been working on her? About two years. A sculpture for New York's High Line. You call this piece? Brick House. The title of the Commodore song, of course, but Lee says that wasn't her inspiration. I just like the idea of thinking about femininity in a different way, mm -hmm. as something solid mm -hmm. um, and enduring rather than always something fragile and weak. This is how tall? This is 16 feet, and then it'll sit atop a five-foot-tall plinth. Her base echoes the mud and grass homes of Cameroon. The figure's noble face is framed by cornrows that cascade down to cowrie shells. The lips and the nose are defined, the eyes are not. I never have um, defined the eyes as I'm never really um, representing any particular person. Yeah. Um, and so I just stay on this side of abstraction. The piece was cast at Stratton Sculpture Studios in Philadelphia. Julia Stratton is co-owner. We used 9,000 pounds of clay to make it, um, 6,000 pounds of bronze to cast it. She's monumental. Lee, who never went to art school, was studying philosophy in college when she took a ceramics class on a lark. I discovered that I was kind of, I kind of had a knack for it. She began to focus on African-American women in her work and on issues of race and beauty. But the art world told her she was in the wrong medium. How did you respond to that? Well, I, I didn't know how to be a different artist. You know, it's not that I had like more guts than anyone else or that I was stronger. I didn't know how to be someone other than myself. You were stubborn. I'm stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never felt like I would be embraced by the art world mm -hmm. at large. Mainstream success, I didn't think was something that would happen to me. Why? I, you know, many years ago dug in my heels that I was gonna just do exactly what I wanted to do and I never thought that I would be understood. I didn't think that a lot of people shared my interests, but the art world has changed. African-American artists like Kerry James Marshall and Sam Gilliam are now seeing their work sell for millions at auction. This month, one of Lee's sculptures set a record for the artist, selling for nearly $94,000. Do you think that change is irreversible? I do. What's happening with um, black artists in the art world in the United States and also globally is more of a correction than um, a fad or a fashion. And, you know, we're unstoppable now. <laughs> I really feel that way, I really do. Last month, the team at Stratton Studios in Philadelphia put the finishing touches on Brick House. And I think the piece itself is simply stunning. She's a goddess, she's an American goddess. The sculpture was packed up and carefully hoisted onto a flatbed truck for the trip to New York. It'll be turned on its side and it'll just go down the highway. You gonna ride with it? I'm not gonna ride with it, but I'm gonna worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be there when it arrives. And she was. Late at night when Brick House reached Manhattan, Simone Lee's sculpture was lifted up onto an old railroad bridge now part of the High Line. Here, for the next year and a half, she will loom ethereally above the uptown traffic.
I feel really lucky. I mean, I don't, there's there's been a dearth of sculpture, especially that represents black women, and so I'm very honored to get this opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think it is something that we need. This new spur of the High Line will open to the public on June 5th, but until then, you still can see Brick House from the street, and she is absolutely stunning. I love what she said, a woman solid and enduring yeah. instead of fragile and weak. I'm yeah. going to remember that. You know, I just, I can't believe someone actually told her she was in the wrong meeting. <laughs> How yeah. can you look at her work yeah. and not see they elegance? All, yeah and beauty. They also told her her work was too well made. I don't know how that's possible. Wow. Well, good thing she didn't That's listen. a new one. Good yeah. for all of us she didn't listen. <laughs>